Hey guys, this is Jules with True Crime Reactions and we have some new documents in the Idaho 4 case we're gonna go over very quick and facelessly. Let's get started. Okay, so I did a over half hour video on these documents right here. But what we're focusing on is what was just released and it is kind of odd to me actually because as far as I can tell we have a hearing on the 27th and in this hearing is where they're going to be talking about the defense's need to compel discovery from the state. Now this is two business days away. Today is Thursday. We have Friday business day number one and then we have the weekend where nothing ever happens and those kinds of things and then we have Monday and then we have the hearing happening Tuesday. So I don't know why the defense is asking or has had a motion to shorten time granted by the courts whenever we literally only have two business days before we have this hearing. It's a little strange but we're just gonna go ahead and go over what's going on here. And these are very just short and to the point. The defense hereby moves the court for an order shortening time for hearing the defendant's second motion to compel. And then this is literally it getting approved and granted basically as soon as it was filed, it seems like. They had no issue granting this motion a shortened time. This one is literally just the Zoom information we always see for the victim's families. Nothing important. It's just the Zoom ID and the passcode that's redacted. And then we have the hearing information itself. See? June 27th, 1.30 p.m., two business days away. So unless they're trying to get this thing heard for, like, some sort of emergency they think they have to where they want it heard, like, literally tomorrow or Monday. I'm not really quite understanding with it being, like, such a short time before we even get there. But, yeah, these are the documents. And, like, again, I said, I don't know. I don't know why in the world they are wanting to shorten time for something that is literally happening in two business days. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me at all. But that is it now. I do have an announcement because I decided to do a gift card giveaway for members only and it was only announced to the members this time around because it's the first gift card giveaway that I have done in quite a while. So I am going to most likely start doing these once a month. Um, I will probably change it up a little bit. I don't know. I don't really want to just make it to where it's members only. So what I'm probably going to do is do a separate one monthly for my members and then most likely a lower value gift card giveaway for just subscribers or commenters on a certain video. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to generate the gift card giveaway. The results of this giveaway will be in my community tab. So if you are a member, thank you so very much for joining this community. I very much appreciate it. You really have no clue how much you joining and becoming a physical member, not just subscribing, not just watching, not just commenting, but putting your information in and becoming a rotating member of this community means the world to me. So congratulations to whoever the two $50 winners end up being. I am most likely going to be posting that at around 9, 9.30 tonight. Hopefully this video is up before then, but if not, you guys know where to check, and that is it for now. See y'all.